Hey guys, Jojo the CO here. A big milestone for the page. I'm actually going to be able to do a video with a voiceover, so yay. Let's get right into it. This uh, video, I'm going to be talking about my bike, which is a 2018 Indian Scout. I purchased my bike, which I call Liberty because she's blue and white with red pinstripes. A red, white, and blue motorcycle got to be named Liberty. Uh, I purchased her from the Indian dealer here in Boise, which at the time was called Sawtooth Indian, is now called Indian Motorcycle of Boise. Uh, when I bought her, she was all stock, nothing special to her other than two-tone paint and ABS. Uh, since I purchased her in August of 2018, I have added the Indian brand saddlebags, Indian brand stage one intake, uh, Indian 10-inch mini apes. I've also added aftermarket Vance & Hines high output grenade exhaust, the Kirokin uh, headlight fairing. I have also upgraded the normal stock Scout headlight with the headlight you normally see in the FTR 1200. Night and day difference with that headlight. I can I can see better and people in front of me say they can actually see me now. Um, other than that right now I'm not really doing anything else. I have somebody working on building me a larger tank so that way I have more fuel capacity so instead of a 3.3 I think it's going to be anywhere from 4.5 to 5 is what I'm supposed to be getting. I'll let you guys know once it actually shows up. So big things there. Um, overall, Indian Scout 1133cc engine, 100 horse stock. I'm probably putting out a little bit more with the added exhaust and intake uh, that I've put onto my bike. You can definitely feel the power and performance has upgraded itself since those uh, aftermarket changes. A uh, very flickable, very nimble bike. I've ridden a Kawasaki 305, I think it was from 1986 growing up, and then a Ninja 250 from 2000 to 2001 time frame was my previous bikes before my Scout. Uh, have to say, after not riding for almost four years, hop on the Scout, was able to take off like no problem. Uh, I have ridden a 2018 Harley Sportster 1200 since I've bought my Scout, and since they're in the same demographic, I can actually say with, you know, somewhat of a educated opinion on this, I prefer the Scout to the Sportster hands down. Did a 500 mile road trip in, on the Sportster in Florida last summer, went from Fort Myer all the way to Canaveral, back down to Fort Pierce around Lake Okeechobee, back to Fort Myer. Could not wait to get off that Sportster every chance I could whenever I got to a gas station. Just for some reason, that bike was completely uncomfortable. Didn't like the vibrations. It was just overall not the bike for me. Some people might enjoy that. But for me, after riding my Scout for almost a year before I hopped on that Sportster, it just it spoiled me because my Scout is a Cadillac in comparison. A smoother shift, smoother ride, performance, weight ratio, it's... Hands down, the Scout's better. I've got people that'll at say, but Jojo, the Scout's a tiny bike. You need to get yourself a big bike, get yourself the Springfield, get yourself the Chieftain. Uh, if I was to get a, another bike, it would probably be a Springfield Dark Horse with the Apes uh, Stage 1 intake, aftermarket cams, and a uh, better exhaust than stock. But for me... I would still keep my Scout because she is my first Indian and just because she is such a great little bike, I'll never get rid of her. Um, so you'll see in this video, we've got the ride between Idaho City and Stanley, more or less this area between Loman and Stanley, I think is the area that it's coming up to that you'll see mostly in this video. Um, it's not quite too technical. It is a technical ride in the aspect of you need to watch your speed and watch the road signs because there are certain road signs that say you need to be at this speed to go around this corner. And it is indefinitely, you need to follow those because if you don't, you'll miss your corner. Uh, in the video, you'll see another rider in front of me. He is on a Chieftain. Uh, it's another Indian bike, great bike. It's, a little, it's a, called a heavyweight in comparison to my Scout. I have ridden one, but it wasn't for very long, so I can't give you quite a good of a... Uh, review but right now i'm sitting at almost sixteen thousand miles on my scout i think it's like sixteen thousand two hundred is what i'm sitting at right now uh i have to say i've loved every minute of it i took her on a road trip from boise 
down to LA and back. Between Boise and LA, I hit Vegas. And between LA and back to Boise, I hit Reno. Amazing ride. Um, when I hit Twin Falls coming back from LA was finally that point to where my uh, my butt muscles started tensing up saying, nope, you need to get off every 15 minutes and stretch because she'd had enough. But I won't say, it, even, even if it wasn't just that I'd been riding all year, the Scout in and of itself is more comfortable to sit on, ride on for even those longer periods of time. The only downside for riding the Scout is the 3.3 gallon tank, which I've already mentioned. You get anywhere from 135 to 140 miles per tank. Um, in town riding, it'll be closer to the 130 mark before your gas light will come on. Uh, if you're doing lots of freeway or just long non-stopping rides, like uh, the video you see where we're going up through the mountains and the twisties, that's where we'll get a little bit more of the uh, higher end of that miles per gallon. So yeah, uh, that's my bike for the most part overall. Have to say, I am happy with the Indian brand, happy with my Scout. I, I completely love this bike. Um, the only thing I have to kind of do now for any upgrades would be possibly maybe go to getting myself a passenger backrest sissy bar just so that way I have something to tie uh, luggage to when I go on road trips. I didn't have it when I went down to LA, just used some cargo netting. It worked all right, but it wasn't quite as secure, so I'm hoping that I'll have something better to attach stuff to next time. Uh, so yeah, uh, enjoy the video. If you guys have any uh, types of comments, uh, advice, any types of ways to make the videos better, shoot me a message, leave a comment. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. If not, hit the dislike button but just if you do leave me a comment so i can try and make the content better for you guys i hope to uh create some more content here soon be able to talk about some other stuff with indian more of the rides and uh yeah so uh, let the good times roll and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video Picking up the pieces of my sweet shattered dream I wonder how the old folks are tonight Her name was Anne and I'll be damned if I recall her face She left me not knowing what to do Every highway let me slip away on you Every highway Seen better days, the morning after blues, from my head down to my shoes. Every highway let me slip away, slip away on you. times I love best I wonder if she'll ever do the same Now the thing that I call living is just being satisfied With knowing I got no one left to blame Carefree highway I got to see you my old flame Carefree highway you seen better days The morning Slip away on you Searching through the fragments of my dream-shattered sleep I wonder if the years have closed your mind Yes, it must be wanderlust or trying to get free From the good old faithful feeling we once knew Carefree highway, let me slip away on you 
Every highway You've seen the better days The morning after blues And I head down to my shoes Every highway Let me slip away Slip away on you Let me slip away on you Every highway I got to see you My old friend Every highway You've seen better days The morning after blue From my head down to my shoe Every highway Let me slip away Slip away on you Let 